six weeks in, um, you know, players are doing well. Uh, we've still got a long way to go to the start of the season. So it's just, um, you know, just building them up, up slowly, uh, get some game time into the players and uh, try and be ready for that first game. But they're settling in. Um, you know, they've been here now uh, a good few weeks. Uh, uh, Brendan was the last one that arrived. But no, they're, they're settling in well, you know, and you know, we expect big things from them this year. And, uh, you know, they're, they're here with a smile on their face, which is important. And, um, you know, they're enjoying being part of the club and we're enjoying having them here. Um, you know, he's obviously, that would have given him a lot of confidence. He's a young player and, you know, that, that would have helped him a lot to get a, to get a goal for the Socceroos, is special and one I'm sure he'll always remember. And, you know, we'll, we'll try and help him uh, develop into a very good player. And hopefully there'll be many more goals for the Socceroos and also for the Wanderers. I think it's great for the boy to, to get that recognition and, you know, that's, um, he's had a taste of it now. He, he can see what he has to do to, to get to the top. And, um, you know, he's working very hard and, you know, the boy wants to improve his game and, you know, we're, we're here to help him develop into a very good player. I'd be a bit of a hypocrite to, to uh, complain about players going away to Socceroos considering, uh, you know, the, the great fortune I had of playing many times for my country. So, you know, we'll always encourage our players to, to play at the highest level. Um, you know, we'll be honoured if, if we can see a couple of our players uh, on that plane come June next year. And uh, part of that is obviously preparation for the Socceroos. Uh, that's obviously up to Holger to decide whether he'll select any of our players. But uh, I'm sure he has our players in his sights and that's great for our club. I, I don't think there'll be extra pressure on, on us, uh, this group, internally. Um, externally, I'm sure the pressures will be different and um, expectations different from the outside. But, you know, it's, it's up to us to handle that and um, I'd much rather have that, that concern, you know, uh, trying to back up something that we've done very well. And that's the challenge that we have, you know, we, we, uh, we have a challenge to try and get some consistency and try and be challenging for the title again. And uh, we'll do everything we can to achieve that. Of course, well, the, those numbers obviously indi indicate how, uh, how huge the support is for this football club. And, you know, we're, we're actually uh, honoured and privileged to be a part of that. And, you know, we, like the fans, are looking forward to the start of the season and um, I'm sure they'll support us all the way in trying to achieve great things again this year. I think it's just part of the uh, preparation. It's, it's nice to have A-League opposition. It's, um, you know, we're only halfway through our preparations. We've only played two games, so it's our third match. And, um, you know, the players are yet to play more than 45 minutes. So. Uh, it'll be a good test. It'll be a good test. We're looking forward to it. You know, it'll be a, it'll be a, 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 a tough game against Wellington. They have a new manager, and we're looking forward to the game and um, you know get through the game unscathed and and uh, just go another step further in in, in our preparation uh, for that first game against the Mariners.